Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Van Haven TV and today I'm just going to basically have a really quick walk around, do the loop, show you what's on the forecourt at the moment, go through the wing workshop, go down, see what's happening in paint shop and detailing, just as a little Tuesday interlude I suppose. Um, so here at the moment we've got some really cool vans, we've obviously got the van that was featured last week already to, uh, to be viewed and, uh, and hopefully sold. We've got our old TTRC demo van, which is now being sold and um, just waiting for a few little final tweaks before it goes off to its new home. Um, we've got Ben's T5.1, um, having a few really cool little bespoke bits put onto this van. Um, he's having like a really nice little um, single seat fitted in there and a uh, big old remap and bits and bobs. So it's really nice to see a T5.1 back on the forecourt. I just bloody love a T5.1. We have this epic, really nice starlight blue um, TTX with the slightly quieter um, Geolander tyre from Yokohama. Now it is worth mentioning guys that when you have your swampers and you go for that heavy BH, uh, BF Goodrich uh, KO2 tyre, they're really noisy. What we've done here is, uh, is we've moved over to the Yokohama Geolander. This is a 60% road with a 40% off-road tyre. Much more refined um, and, and just a very very comfortable ride so if you're wanting a swamper want all the looks but you want to have something a little bit more friendly to the ears and a little bit softer to drive do go and check those out and i do believe they do them with the white letters which is cool this is a fantastic van mojave beige caravel it's a mobile office this thing's got every type of electrical gizmo that you could ever imagine huge leisure battery setup um, and the gentleman who owns this can basically run off grid, have his, uh, his coffee machine plugged in and basically um, work from his van. Finished in that Mojave beige, which is, I just wish it was called a different color because it is absolutely sensational. Shadow pack um, badges and grill uh, streamer on there looks awesome and the TTR kit. And then when we come through, we've got all our bits going through the workshop at the moment. So these guys will all be slowly flowing through and getting built to, uh, to everyone's specifics. And there's a van down here. I'm going to give you a really, really cheeky little view. It's going to be a hard one to actually see because as you can see, we park them in real tight. It's a space thing, nothing more than that. But that Fortana red van down there, once that's out, I want to show you around that thing. That is absolutely ballistic. And Stevie, the chap who I said looks well, Ollie, on the last video, that's his van. And it's back for a few really cool little upgrades, including a carbon fiber uh, roof. It's going to be epic. So, Jordan, we must, must do a video on that van. We've got a couple of pure greys, both with the ABT lower splitter grill things on. Looks really quite nice. This is currently sat on the um, the Coney uh, suspension that's got an adjustable dampers on there it's very very comfortable so the ultimate in comfort for your swamper would be a slight mix-up between the Geolanders on the Starlight Blue Long wheelbase formation and the, uh, the Coney lift kit on this van and you will have the most comfortable transporter on the market. Nothing gets better than those two. It's, um, it's not very often we do a full ABT van here at Van Haven. Um, we do a couple of little splitters and stuff, but never the full hog. This van belongs to a chat called Danny absolute hero shout out to you dude so we've got a very vivid uh, Ravenna blue and um, 204 combi full factory ABT kit on it and uh, yeah it's a cool van really sweet looking very dusty we had all this rain and it's just covered everything in dust so here we are in the main workshop got a couple of uh, Ravenna blue vans starlight blue and an Indian grey swamper this is a really cool build and I'll be talking to you about this in a bit more detail once it's built, but I'm not going to tell you much now because there's just too much to tell you about. Um, this is a beautiful, this Indian Grey Swamper is going to be absolutely sensational. Again, it's got the platinum interior, all the mid-tone grey Alcantara, optics are down with Marcus at the moment getting painted, Alpine door speakers and tweeters, 
and um, yeah, this is going to be a great van. Digital dash just been installed, so I look forward to telling you a little bit about this. So this van down here belongs to a chap called Ian. Ian, uh, you will have had your van by now, but this thing is absolutely ginagorous. So we have a long wheelbase, hey Tom? Um, long wheelbase, DSG, DSG. Ian's van's a manual. So it's got a gear stick. Four motion in pure grey, true TTX with uh, full black optics and gloss black overarch kit. Um, massive roof rack, epic interior, those black fuel covert wheels. This thing is just the mutts nuts. Interior with the TTR sports seat. We've got the, um, we've got the large Avano bed in the back. So this van basically is going to have quite a, it's going to definitely get used for what it's designed for. It's going to be working hard. So um, yeah, I look forward to getting some pictures of this thing covered in mud and actually being worked. The Swampers do look better when they're dirty. I don't know about you guys, but I definitely think so. So a couple of weeks ago, um, Jay was walking around site doing a very similar sort of video to what I'm doing today. And he touched very briefly on the new, uh, TTRC um, sports seat. So I have a set here. I'm just going to talk you around them. Modelled by Tom in his beautiful burgundy trousers and his moccasins. They did, all right? Yeah, they did, right? Um, slightly different to the normal design. They normally got a centre strip running through them, yep. but the fact that they've got a very plain internal will make all the sense. What we've got on these is uh, we've got a rebuilt and um, exclusive foam to Van Haven. Oh, the alarm's going off. A synthetic carbon fibre on the rear, which looks really nice. Um, this is going into the, these are going to this van. So we've got a bronze stitch with a starlight blue pipe, which looks really lovely. And um, very, very soft, very comfortable uh, foam, um, but then quite a hard foam in the side. So we've got our standard Mark 7 Golf side bolster which uh, is very common in our industry. And then moving up to this unique um, shoulder support and integrated headrest. These look absolutely fantastic. And like Jay said um, in that last video, it was really important that when you're sat in the back of the transporter with some of the heavier Recaro seats and the big Audi seats, you can't see through the windscreen. It's really quite claustrophobic in there. So these are literally the same as a standard seat width and we've worked really, really hard to make it all look and fit uniformed and OEM so it doesn't look like an aftermarket uh, foam. These are really popular and since Jay put that little plimps on there, they've gone wild and we've got um, plenty of people wanting to put these into their vans. They are so comfortable and so nice and really supportive, especially around our country lanes here in Dorset. They're, they're, they're brilliant, a brilliant seat and something that we're all really proud of. So um, yeah, if you're interested, contact uh, Haven Trim Shop and we'll be able to hook you up basically with a set for your van. We need your existing seats because what we do is we use the frame and then we, we build and put our foams on there and whatnot. So um, yeah, Haven Trim Shop, that'd be cool. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about James's van. So James came and saw me probably two months ago, two months ago, and asked to make, uh, to supply him a combi sleeper on a long wheelbase with a blue van. So I sold this van um, back in 2020. Uh, to a customer and I called him up and said, look, we've got this awesome build we need to do for a chap called James. Can I buy your van? He said yes. So we bought him his van and, um, and now we're making it to, uh, to fit James's build. We've got a um, gloss black pop top roof and it's going full combi sleeper. I think the leisure batteries are now in. So we use a Duracell Advanced deep cycle battery um, married up to uh, a SeaTech charger and um, it'll obviously all be lined and, and have all its LED lights and diesel heater which we're going to be running through here on this van. I'm really looking forward to handing this over to James. James you know who you are and this journey has been really really quite exciting and I know there was a period where we had to wait for the van to come to us here so that we could start cutting it up and turning it into your van from Anthony's 
but um, it's all happening, dude. Not very long, not very long to wait. Okay, so um, just a little bit of, Toby does still work here. Here he is. It's really busy here this week. Body shop are absolutely stacked. We've got uh, JD prepping up some body kits at the moment to get fitted. And um, we've also actually got a really cool old school T4 in here, which for us boys at Van Haven is a rarity. It's having a full respray this van. Um, it's going to be finished in pure grey. Uh, so that's going to look really cool and we'll get some piggies up once it's done and dusted. With all commercial vehicles, paintwork is always our, um, <laughs> our kryptonite. These commercial vans do not get the same sort of paint finish as what you'd expect on a domestic vehicle. So Sean is doing a G-Technic ceramic coat on this van. Sean has currently got a Trizac pad and what this is doing is actually matting the paintwork down and you're gonna and, and it, we put a lot of soap and water on there and you're totally flashing. So this takes all the blemishes out of the yeah. paintwork, right? Yeah. And then we'll use three different types of compound to polish it back up and that's how you get that shine that you, uh, you see on our photography. It's a timely process, eh? Yeah, it is. It takes, it takes, it takes its time, you know? And it's a load of work? Yeah, it's a lot of work. <laughs> and does it, do you ever feel nervous, like, flattening down a brand new five-mile van? No, never. Never. Boom! Total <laughs> professional. Loves it. So, um, can we just quickly show the folks online what it all looks like once it's been trizacked? Yeah, that's it. So, the entire van every panel will go through this process so three days about three days three days so three days every vehicle that goes through handover will go through this process and it really is the difference of um oh it's the wow factor isn't it it's all the effort it's the little bits that make all the big details that makes no sense but you know what i mean it's freaking epic we've had this van for a year and we're very proud and slightly shocked to say that we have not modified it in any way, shape or form. It is completely standard. We have done 15,600 miles of Tom Burns miles. So that's like a thousand miles because he drives like an old man. And, um, and this is getting prepped up, ready for sale. Uh, we've had it for a year. It's been great. It's a great little, great little van. Um, so yeah, that'll be on Auto Trader soon. So if you want a cheap caddy, I think I'm asking 21 grand plus fat, something like that for it. It's uh, really nice, really cool. Um, anyway, thanks for this rather disjointed video and um, we'll see you next week. I do believe that Tom's going to be chatting to you about G-Technic, so keep your eyes on, the, on your notifications and um, yeah, we'll go from there.